In this video, you're going to learn a little bit more about RStudio. You'll look around RStudio. You'll learn about what is R. And you'll even write a little bit of code in R. First, the page that you see now is the basic layout of RStudio. Yours should look similar. If yours does not look similar, click on Tools and then click on Global Options. After you click Tools, Global Options, you'll be brought to an interface that can allow you to customize to make our studio look however you want. So that you can more easily follow these videos, I recommend making yours look like mine. Scan through the options and either select the ones that I have selected or click off the ones that I don't have selected. Then click Pane Layout and you can select which panes you would like to be in the upper left, upper right, bottom left, and bottom right. For example, you can see that under Files, Plots, and Packages, I have Files, Plots, Packages, Help, and Viewer selected by default. Here in the bottom right, you see Files, Plots, Packages, etc. If you made changes, be sure to click Apply and then OK. I did not make changes, so I will click Cancel. First up, you might be asking yourself, what is R? R, at a very basic level, is a programming language. If you did not have R Studio, you would work with R in a pane that looks like this. This is just an example. You won't see this on your computer. Here, I would work with R just as I would in R Studio, but without the help. For example, I could type hello world and it would give me an output, hello world. R Studio is a nice interface that makes R easier to work with than what you just saw. Here, I can type the same thing, hello world, and then I press enter or return, and you can see the output, hello world. Type along, try it out. Great job. You just wrote your first code in R. In the environment pane, eventually you'll see variables show up here. And in your history pane, you can see code that you recently wrote. See? You should see hello world because you just wrote that. In the files pane, you'll see your local computer's file directory. In the plots pane, you'll see graphics appear as you make graphics with R. And you can download packages, view documentation. And here in the console is where you will write code. That's all for today's video which has been a quick introduction to working with R Studio and R. Stay tuned for more videos where you'll learn more 